Hi everyone, Corey here from the Knitting All the Blankets YouTube channel and this video is going to be my unboxing of my Twin Mommy Creations Mini Skein Advent Calendar. I will link uh, the Twin Mommy Creations uh, website down in the description box below. I'm going to pick up my camera right now and just, oh, excuse me, <laughs> uh, tip it into the gift bag. Well, hang on. Maybe this will be easier. So this is how it came packaged and everything is all wrapped up as, you know, mini skein advent calendars tend to be. And I'm going to be taking them out one by one and just showing them off. Okay, and then once that's done, oh, that's my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree changes from colored lights to white lights. And if you hear it clicking, that ceiling fan is clicking. So, okay. Aw. Um, for anybody who is new to this channel and is unaware, Twin Mommy Creations is run by a lovely... A woman named Anne. She is also my best friend and we paid for this. I did not get this for free or at any sort of discount at all. I love supporting her business. So I'm just, I always feel like I have to say that because I don't want anybody, I don't want her business to be negatively affected. Okay. All right. She knows I love multicolored pens so she threw in a little um it's a um ty ty beanie baby pen and it's a clip and i love that i've never actually seen this i need to ask her where she found that okay so i haven't actually taken these out of the bag at all so as i'm pulling them out i'm there they are all numbered at least which is awesome so as I'm digging for them, I'm trying to pull them out in order. Okay. And they're all packaged very adorably. They're in these multicolored uh, paper sacks. Which, and I'm very glad she used paper sacks because that means I can recycle them. Alright, this first one is something in the wood pile. It's a lovely gray-brown... And what I also love that Ann does is she puts what day it is because at the end of the, at the end of all this, what I do with, especially the mini scene advent calendar, these will all go in my eventual mini scene 10 stitch blanket and, or blankets at this point, cause I have way too many mini skeins, but I have a problem. Um, but all the minis from the advent calendar will go in a Ziploc bag with what year it is, what it was, and I'll put them in like day 24 to day 21 so that as I pull them out, they're in order. But I love that she puts what day it is on there. These are all, I believe that they are all 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon. And they are all 20 gram minis. Okay. So something in in the woods. I'm hoping the color comes through appropriately. It looks like it's getting slightly blown out. But, oh, love it. And I'm going to set them all down on my couch. You know what? I'll clean those up. I'll clean the empty bags up later. And I will attempt to show off all of them at the end. But if they're all dark colors, they're not going to show up on my dark couch very well. Oh, that's tissue paper. That's the color of my couch. Okay, so day two. I know I can do like a Vlogmas thing, but this is my um, Christmas present for my husband every year. Okay, this one is Violet Web Cap. It's a nice purpley brown and um, very light cr cream or very, very light purple. Two. 
And I personally love watching Vlogmas um, and other people unwrapping their minis because that's that's just fun to me. But I love mini skeins. To me, it's a way to get a bunch of different colorways to use for a bunch of scrappy projects because I love scrappy projects. And um, you're not committed to a single particular color. That way, in case you get a color you're not really crazy about, you don't have that much in there. Oh, what's also awesome, hang on, I need to check these bags real quick. Okay, what I forgot with Anne is, this is day three, that's day three's bag, is every couple of days she throws in another goodie, like this one, came with a lovely little, stop moving, leaf progress keeper and I love that I'm just gonna set it on the table in front of me so I don't lose them all right this one is rustic beauty oh that is gorgeous I love her colorways I think she is so talented and I'm not just saying that because she's my best friend I, I'm also one of the type, I'm also the person that if I don't like her colorway, I tell her that. <laughs> so, but not every colorway is for everybody, right? Okay. All right, this one is Summer Sky. I'm trying so that it covers my face so it'll focus on the color and not my face. Okay, day, day five. Do, 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 do. This one is Sunset at the Causeway. That is lovely. Pinks and oranges and yellows and a little bit of brown. That's lovely. Day six. Oh, what I was saying um, about Vlogmas episodes. Um, Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. I love watching her Vlogmas episodes. Uh, All right. The extra little goodie in this bag was a pin that says yarn snob i don't consider myself a real yarn snob but i know what i like okay and this one is bruised ego that's a funny one i didn't even know she had this one but a lot of the minis they get um when she does her, when she starts thinking up her advent calendar, all of these are original colorways that she'll later um, turn into larger skeins if there is a uh, demand for them. Okay, day seven. And I'll tell you, last year I was totally shocked by one of them. I didn't think I was going to like it because normally I'm not a fan of like gray and yellow, but there was a gray and yellow one last year that I absolutely fell in love with. Speaking of falling in love, this one is Wild Blue Yonder. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. And with the blue on my tree right now. Oh God. Okay, now everything has tipped over. Okay, there's number eight. Number eight. I'm being defeated by a paper bag, people. I will rip the bag. It's only paper. This bag was impossible to open. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. And we've got another lovely little progress keeper. It's a little turtle. Which is appropriate because Anne uh, is the type of person where in the state of Florida. If she sees a turtle trying to cross the road, she will stop. And she keeps, she keeps a box in her car just so she can put the turtle in the box and move it um, directly in the same direction that it was going. She knows exactly what to do. She was, um, she used to work at a zoo. Um, and she knows what to do when it comes to wildlife. Okay, so this one is Swampy Life. And that, that is cute. It's like grays and blacks and like a burnt orange. Very Halloween-y. It's very Halloween-y to me. Okay. Nice. Haha. The bag cooperated. Okay, this one is Weeds of Gold. Nice bright yellow in there. Day 10. We have another pin. <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. It's a picture of a camera and it says, take a picture, it'll last longer. We are both children of the 90s. So. Okay, and this one is called Peepers. That's a cute color name, colorway name. I just saw number 11. Number 11. So yes, this bag, this huge bag of minis has been sitting in my living room on my hearth, teasing me since Thanksgiving. Something savory. This reminds me of like a, a curry, like an Indian curry, which if you've ever had Indian curry, it is savory. Number 12. Oops. Whatever stapler she used is really good. <laughs> okay, there's got to be a story behind this. I'm going to have to ask her, but this one is called I Didn't Say Banana. I wonder if this is something one of her sons said. I'm going to have to ask her because that is just funny. And actually, once I'm done opening these, I'm going to grab my mini skein 10 stitch so you guys, um, oh, excuse me, I'm having a little bit of heartburn tonight, um, so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. I am a long way from ever adding these. I really should do a calculation on how many minis I have. Actually, no, I really shouldn't do that. I really should not. All right, and this one is called Chasing the Sun. Okay. 
This is another reason why I like advent calendars. I mean, yes, you can open them up every, you know, like one thing a day. And that's awesome if that's what you want to do. But to me, it's like, instead of this being one big gift, it's like I get 25 little gifts. And they're all little gifts that I love. So. Ooh. I've got, okay. After I show you this and the mini skein 10 stitch blanket, I'm going to show you the funny pile of paper bags that I'm just throwing on the floor. This one's called apple picking. Isn't that lovely? Are you going to focus camera? Oh, isn't that lovely? That is just scrumptious. Don't tell me I'm going to be defeated by another paper bag. Ooh. All right, this one is called Arizona Sky. I've never been to Arizona, but for some reason, I believe it, that this is what the sky in Arizona would look like. That is gorgeous. Day 16. Okay, we have another little progress keeper. And this one is a little kitty cat. I love progress keepers. Um, I know sometimes, you know, with the lobster hook, they can double as um, stitch markers if you use smaller needles. But for me, when I'm working on like my mini skein 10 stitch blanket or, and I did start another 10 stitch blanket, that's not mini skeins, it's um, regular, um, like worsted yarn. I like keeping track of my progress that I do throughout the month. So every time I sit down and like work on it, I put a progress keeper on it of where I am when I start. So that to me is fun. You'll see that with the mini skein 10 stitch. Okay, this one is called Rosemary Delight. Very lovely shades. God, she's so talented when it comes to dye work. And again, I'm not just saying that because she's my best friend. There's 17. 17. I mean, all the indie dyers that I know personally are very talented. This one is called At Water's Edge. I hope she remembered how she did these. I'm pretty sure she does. Because some of these would make lovely full skeins of yarn. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and when you watch this. Day 18. And whatever stapler she used is a good stapler. All right, another little progress keeper. This one is a mermaid. Come on, face forward. This is a mermaid sitting on a ball. That's good because with the multiple um, mini skin or uh, ten stitch blankets, I'm starting. I'm going to need all the progress keepers because I work on multiple blankets at a time 
Hence this channel's name of Knitting All the Blankets. All right, this one is called A Day at Sea. Day 19. All right, this one is called Al Algae Season. Very nice blues and greens. <laughs> All right, this progress keeper is a little alligator. Very appropriate because we live in Florida. Alligator is our state reptile. And it goes very well with the colorway name. Reptilian. And it is getting blown out a little bit. It is actually darker than it looks on camera. So, but it's still very lovely. Twenty one, almost done. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one's called Kaleidoscope. We have another pin. It says hand dyed all the way. Support your local indie dyers, either through their online stores or Etsy. And this one is called Painted Garden. This one is called Flowers of Plenty, and it is getting a little blown out because it is darker than it actually looks on camera. Point four. Almost done. <laughs> berry pie anyone yes very much a blueberry or a mixed berry pie um when the color change when the trees on my lights changed to the blue that worked so well All right, and number 25, the last one. All 
right? And the last one, oh, I love this. It's a little heart that has the American flag on it, oh, oh, in a way. And on the back, on the back, come on, cooperate. It says, made in the USA. I love that. There was also a card in the bottom of that bag that says, thank you so much for purchasing this year's advent calendar. And there's a coupon code because I purchased the advent calendar to receive um, a percentage off my next purchase. Um, and I'm not going to share that with you. I'm sorry, but I'm so going to take advantage of that. Okay. And the last one of the 2019 Twin Mommy Creations mini skein advent calendar is called picture of or picture of the day. Oh, I love it. Love it. Yep. Turn that around. Okay. I'm going to put this down. Now, hopefully, when I pick up my phone, actually, let me go get the blanket first. And I'll do that because then I can just pick the phone off, up and scan this way and then scan this way. And I don't have to worry about stuff all right so i just set my yarn bowl up on the table so this is what my mini skein 10 stitch blanket looks like thus far let me actually hold it the correct way up So it really is just a bunch of minis that I magic knot together and then I knit using the Frankie Brown original 10 stitch blanket pattern. And as you can see over here, you know, I've got progress keepers every so many rows. That's how I mark um, my progress when I work on it. The current mini skein set that I am working through isn't really a mini skein set. It is one of the uh, Lion Brand Bonbons sets. And I'm trying to fold this up properly so I don't drop my needle out of it either because I'm at a corner. <laughs> I'm getting ready to turn the next corner. And it is the party colorway. And I caked that up. And I have it in a sheep squeezer as a center pool ball. And I will put the website where you can buy these as well down in the description box below. So. And wherever you saw Progress Keeper, that's the amount of work I've done this month. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. All right, so let me pick this up. Okay, so. Sorry about that, guys. Here are all the minis. I'm not talented enough to know how to turn my phone around. All right. That's the back of my couch. Sorry. And that is the pile of paper bags on the floor. All right. I'm not going to try to put the phone back in the uh, tripod. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I, once again, support your local indie dyers questions or comments please leave them down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye